Um, Minnie is the kind of uh, mean girl of the school, so she's the kind of you know popular one who likes to take control of the situation, and she has her set group of like group of friends and her you know her sort of trophy boyfriend at the school, and I think that's the way she likes it, and um, things are kind of uh, thrown out of her control when like Frankie turns up, and then sort of you know relationships change, and the, there's like a shift of power almost. So I think. Um, I think she's just someone who needs control in her life, so she kind of goes about uh, all situations in the very like in the wrong way. So she's kind of determined to keep things balanced, but it all kind of goes a bit wrong. And Tracy, what's Frankie like? Uh, well, Frankie starts off as your kind of stereotypical outsider. Um, she isn't a part of the group. She doesn't know anybody. She doesn't look like she's ever going to fit in. Um, and kind of causes a lot of conflict um, when she first arrives. But ultimately she is really sweet and really forgiving and um, generous and caring and, and just kind of unconditionally nice even to the people who <laughs> don't return it. Um, and yeah, and she just tries really hard to kind of fit in, um, but doesn't do it very well. <laughs> Definitely, definitely, there's definitely pressure because there's such a high standard to sort of uh, live up to, and there's such obviously there's been such amazing outcomes for some of the actors, and even you know the last cast as well, like Jack O'Connell and Luke have gone on to do like are going on to do amazing things, and they're all sort of making their own way. So I think it's it's definitely scary to think about uh, sort of what impact the last cast have. But I think this, I think we're all pretty confident that this is. An amazing, amazing like sh like show, and that yeah. we're a really, really strong and very different cast. So I think that's what will be our sort of strong point. Yeah, and I think um, although like it is kind of a springboard onto other things, and uh, that's kind of worked very well for a lot of people. We all really appreciate the opportunity that we've had, and uh, and like really um, treasured this experience, and it's been great. You could just tell me a bit about. Your uh, M Matty is is a fairly enigmatic character. He's quite mysterious, and his position within the group as a personality is is very ambiguous to begin with. It actually continues to be ambiguous right the way through uh, the show. Although you, via a, a few fairly kind of mammoth twists and turns in plot, you get a, a better idea of why he's there and what he what he means, um, but seemingly sort of arrives and, 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 and starts to affect every, every, everyone around him without necessarily meaning to. He's always kind of watching. He always seems to be there and not there at the same time, quite sort of ethereal. I know that doesn't probably help you very much, but that is, that is One him. big mystery. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Nick's a little more obvious, I guess. I wish I had that complexity. Um, uh, Nick's... Nick's um, Starts off, you know, initial appearances as one of those sort of rugby jocks. He's um, the hot shot of the school. He's going out with the hot girl in the school the way he feels it should be with his sort of idealistic views of life. And uh, and um, whether that's imposed on him, his, his sort of ambitious, competitive um, features, whether that's imposed on him or it really, if it really is him, is sort of left up in the air. Uh, He's quite goofy, but he's 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 got his rugby banter, and and his rugby banter doesn't fit in with the skins group. He's not really tied to them. It's a it's a different clique, and uh, and uh, and and you have to shred away that and see whether or not he's he's genuine or not with this front that he puts on um, to find out who he really is. He's uh, as 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 as, a, as well as being you know one of those guys that everyone loves to hate, the arrogant sort of confident in himself kind of guy. He's actually sort of deeply vulnerable and and. Uh, and, and, and he's got a heart of gold, actually. He's massively genuine, but never really puts it forward in the right way um, to his detriment. But uh, gets there in the end, I think. And, uh, and he's got a great arc. He changes. And um, across the story, you start to realise whether Nick's real or not and, and what he's really about. So we start off...